I was watching someone do a demo the other day and they kept saying simulate and render, but they never really explained the difference between the two. If you don't really understand the two, you might think to use them interchangeably, but they are not the same thing. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I'm a digital fashion educator teaching digital fashion design and communication through my company, 383 Design Studio, as well as an adjunct professor at the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City. I talk about digital fashion design software and communication on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. I've been using 3D software more, both Clo 3D and Browseware, and what I've found is that truly understanding the meaning behind the tools and topics, how they're supposed to work and why, has really made it easier and faster to learn and use the software. Now you would think that would be a no-brainer, but when I was learning Illustrator, trial and error actually worked better for me probably because Illustrator isn't really meant for fashion designers. So figuring out how to make the tools do what we needed them to do was a lot easier. Anywho, two things that really got me initially when I started learning 3D was simulation and rendering. I thought they were the same thing and I would use the two words interchangeably, but they definitely are not. Simulation is what you use as you're working. It's that little arrow at the top of the tools in the 3D window, and it dresses the avatar or updates what the avatar looks like when you make a correction. The particle distance is usually set to 20 or even 15. And if you're not familiar with particle distance and why it's important, make sure you review this video because it's super important and it affects a lot of things, including how fast you can work. So simulation is really what you're seeing as you work and create your design ideas. And once you're done designing, adding all your trims, colorways, etc., then you render. Once you get to the point where you want your design to really look realistic, that's when you're ready to render. And it takes a lot of computer power and may take some time so truly, it's the last thing you want to do when you've done everything else. I'm not going to go too much into detail about settings. You can let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video about that. But one of the first things you want to do to make your garment look more realistic is to change the particle distance. As soon as you do that, you'll immediately start to see a difference in the garment and how it drapes and folds. And to render, you'd go to the render menu to bring up the render window and just click in the window to start what's called an interactive render. Now there's a whole series of options you can choose from like the paper size, background, resolution. You can choose lighting. You can choose the render engine. All those options allow you to customize how high quality you want this render to be. Of course, the higher the quality, the more time it takes to render, the more detailed and realistic it will look, but the more computer power it will also take, the longer it will take and the larger the file size. So just keep that in mind. And when you sit these two garments side by side, you can clearly see the difference in the one that's simulated and the one that's rendered. This particular rendering took about seven minutes while the simulation happened in a matter of seconds. So, the short answer is that you simulate as you work and render the final design for a realistic appearance. And remember, don't render until you've made all the changes to your design you want to make, unless you want to work really inefficiently and make yourself crazy. Thanks for watching today's video. If you want to start learning Clothe 3 d with a clear, simple, step-by-step -step workflow and plan, tap the link in the description to sign up for my beginner Clothe 3 d class. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time.